talk about real quick how to find MAD or mean absolute deviation and that's spelled mean absolute deviation all right mean that's an average absolute just means that it's the distance from zero it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative so it always looks like it's positive and deviation means to uh, get off course or to uh, change or vary so we have uh, we're going to use an example of steel frame roller coaster speed and their top speeds and we have six roller coasters that were tested and they are shown down here in the bottom left and we can see that roller coaster one is 55 miles per hour 45 60 you can read that so what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, how to calculate MAD first thing we're going to do is I have the scores of 55, 45, 60, and I'm going to find out what is their average. So if I add all of these guys up, uh, they come out to be 360 miles total, or miles per hour total. And since there's six, I'm going to divide those by six, and that gives me an average or a mean of 60 miles per hour. So the mean is 60. Now, mean absolute deviation is the average distance of all the values from the average or the mean or from the mean. So I have all of these values. I now know that my mean is 60. So now I want to know how far away is 55 from 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, my marker is the right color here, uh, make sure that 55, that is 5 away from 60. 45 is 10 away from 60. 60 is 0 away from 60. 85 is 25 away from 60. 50 is 10. And again, it doesn't matter if it's above or below. It's not positive or negative. It's always going to be positive. And 65 is 5 away. And if I add all those up, I'm going to get 60. And again, I want the average. So I'm going to sum them and then divide by the number of values. I have six values. This one counts. Just because it happened to be the same as the average uh, doesn't mean anything. It still counts as a value. Its distance is just zero. So if I take 60 and divide that by the six data points, the 5, 10, 0, 25, 10, and 5, that is going to give me a mean absolute deviation of 6. Or I'm sorry, not 6. 60 divided by 6 is 10. Okay. So my MAD is 10. And if you check out the next video, uh, you will see briefly how to put these on a dot plot.